end of August. Yay! I am so ready for fall. We are on the countdown. Bring on September. Bring on cooler weather. Get rid of summer. I am not a summer person on any level. Everybody says they hibernate through winter. I don't. I hibernate through summer. I don't like it. <laughs> So I am so excited for September because I'm over August. Anyways, I thought I would do a quick th flip through of my August Fobonichi pages. And this August and September, I am in the Moleskine uh, chapters. Um, no, nah, I went blank. Journal. And it has a sewn back. It's just basically what's in a regular Moleskine, it's just not as fancy and it's broke up into chapters. So you have these pages that are, let me see if I can find one, that are blue. Or I'll, it, they, they are different colors depending on what color of one you got. But I'm using this for August and September. I will be back in a Moleskine Classic in October. So anyways, I have not done a whole lot of monthly decorating on this. I had great intentions of doing that, but I just never got around to doing it. I'll probably go back and do it, or I won't, or I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> I, I, not, I just, I'm having so much fun just kind of doing this as it goes that I don't want to get all just, it's, I just want to let it go. Um, so anyways, um, so there was supposed to be like pretty, you know, hey, it's August decorations. This is that's what I feel about August. <laughs> so that's how that decoration went. But anyways, um, here's how uh, I started doing this with the Saturday and Sunday on one page and Monday on the other. This keeps my pages even. And so I can not have like a, an odd page floating. Last uh, journal, I had put a decorated page here and then started on Monday because I skipped a lot of the weekends last month. But this month I've just put Saturday and Sunday on one page and Monday on the following page and this has worked out great. So I will be continuing this. And um, yeah, so there's no rhyme to reason. Some days I followed prompt, some days I didn't. Y'all know about my Fobonichi Journalers group. If you are looking for some place to show your stuff and to get inspiration for your daily journal, come on over and join us. We started out in July with 800 people in our group. We are now well on our way to 1,700. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> it's a little crazy, but it sure is fun. And I just, I, I can't imagine life without it. They are so nice. And they are my reason why I do my Fobonichi journal. I know you're supposed to do it for yourself and for your memories, but if it wasn't for the group, I'd have bailed on this a long, long time ago because I just, I mean, it's no fun when it's just you by yourself. So it's nice when you have people to share things with. And that's why I stick with this. So, because I love it. But I was trying to water, this is a, a photograph of the rims near us where we live. And so I was trying to watercolor um, how that looked. And I gotta turn the sound off. <sighs> Everybody ding, ding, dings me. Um, this was inspired by a stamp. I think the prompt today was science or something like that. Like I said, some days I follow the prompt, some days I don't. So, um, yeah, it's just about getting memories and stuff on the page. So I don't really worry about if it's exact on everything. Um, this was a school day. I wanted to kind of memorialize what Joshua was doing in school. He's in high school and he's he was supposed to finish out his schoolwork at the middle of December. He's already been finishing up several classes that I thought would take him all year because we school all year. And yeah, he's just flying through it with awesome grades. So I'm going to just let him keep doing that. Um, this is, we had to do a picture of our couch. So I tried to watercolor a picture of my couch. And um, I, this was inspired by a drawing I saw probably on Pinterest. And I'm using up stickers and not, I can't say I'm using it to use them up to get rid of them. I keep buying them. I'm just addicted. If I could, I mean, I shouldn't show you. It's just sad how many I have collected now. So I am having a great time decorating with them. They've really helped me get inspired. 
I kind of struggled last month and this month I'm re-inspired because I've just been digging through my stickers and my die cuts and it's been helping with getting inspired. Summers, I just want to veg through the summer because I, I don't want to do anything. I don't like, I don't feel crafty. I don't feel artsy. I'm not a people person in the summer. I just can't wait for it to be over. <laughs> um, Friday, we had, um, Allison does these amazing five on Friday. They, she gives us five different things. It's like a scavenger hunt through your stash. And she gives you five different things that you need to use on your page. And so you got to go find them in your stuff and all that. And even if you don't have a lot of stash, they're very open-ended prompts. So you could you could make it work with lots of stuff. And so um, I think the, the prompt this day was a pear. So I did a, the cats because they're a pair of Fruit Loops. And I just like how that turned out. And yeah, I never got back to do my journaling. Oh, well. <laughs> Uh, another weekend has come and gone on this page. These are those Posco uh, uni uni pens. They look like everybody always asks me about these pens. This is what they look like, and they have a tip that is little tiny, and I, I just oh, love those pens. Oh my gosh, I just love those pens. Oh, sorry, had to. Um, this was done with a journaling card. I know that. I think the background is my Lyra crayons, though. I adore those watercolor crayons <gasps> so much. Um, but yeah, I've just been cutting up journaling cards because I realized that I wasn't using my journaling cards because I didn't know what to do with a big old journaling card. And so now I've been like, oh, look, cut it up. Duh. And some stickers for the dates and stuff. And I still skip pages. Some of them have journaling on them. Some of them don't. Uh, I just skip pages. Even though you can tell that half the time they do, nothing bleeds through. Everybody always asks me that. Oh my gosh, my everything bleeds through my paper. This is this is what my insides look like. There's there's no bleeding, no bleeding. Very little bleeding. My Lyra crayons will bleed. Um, they are the only thing that I have that if I'm not careful with them, they will bleed through. They're, they're, it's not so much that they're pigmented, but they, you know, the more water you add, it goes right through the paper. So, anyways, I saw this on a poster, and so I thought it was awesome, and I had to put it in here. Let go or be dragged, and see my little dude. Um, so that's how that was, and... I just wanted to draw some daisies. I saw this. I, I don't draw out of my head. There's nothing in my head to draw. Go ahead, you can laugh. Uh, so you will never see anything on this that's that's not inspired by something else ever, period. Because I can't visualize it at all. I, I, I mean, in my head it should look like a flower and then it comes from my head in here and no, it doesn't. But I can see something and I can put it down on paper. So I don't know, I'm defunct that way. But I want to do some flowers and stuff, and um, I think one of the prompts was our favorite childhood cartoon or something, so I did Looney Tunes. And I hope this is in focus, because my camera screen looks weird. I don't know. I'm learning, though. Um, another Thursday. Now I just decide, well, why don't you just stick the journaling cards in because you like them? And so I stuck the journaling card in because I liked them, because this is my happy place. And um, this was a prompt that we did. Well, it wasn't a prompt. I found this tutorial on it and posted it, and so we, a whole bunch of us did it. You you were supposed to do a reverse. You, you couldn't use masking fluid. You had to just paint around where the image, the letter was, so that's how that turned out. Um, I like it. Uh, Lyra Clarons, I think. That could be ink tents. See, I don't know. I either use my Lyra Crayons or my ink tents most of the time. And then another fi five on Friday, and I don't remember what all the prompts were. I think you had to use a journaling card. Somebody else had to journal on your page. You had to use citrus colors, tropical colors, and then I don't remember what the rest of them were. So this is how it turned out. I took a journaling card and cut it all up. And then I put my journaling on the back. And then Joshua drew a picture of his favorite Steam game currently. And oh, I know, we had to put uh, sequins or something on it. Because I got sequins all over this. So maybe that was what it was. But it was fun. It was fun to have Joshua play with me with it, and it turned out really good. I like it. All right. Another page that I just stuck journaling cards on because I could, and they matched. 
I, I had great intentions of coming back and actually drilling on them, but I have learned my lesson that it, once I have turned the page, I have turned the page. I never go back. It's terrible. Um, but I did some hand lettering and stuff on Saturday and Sunday there. And then I don't remember what the prompt was, but it was basically something about, you know, what do you have to get done today or what do you hope to get done or something. And so I wrote my, my Monday to-do list, but I ran out of room. So that was that. I did complete most of that list too. Uh, Tuesday, we were working in the yard and Joshua, I just got a good picture of Joshua riding his bike. He goes for a bike ride every day. He is healthy. He likes to work out. He likes to ride his bike. He likes to eat healthy. He's not into junk food. He must be adopted. <laughs> because he is so not what my husband and I are. And I am so grateful for that. He is fit and smart and yeah, <laughs> the polar opposite of his parents, which is always a good thing. Um, but yeah, he was just coming back from his bike ride, so I caught a shot of him. And then I've been working in the yard. We got our fence put up, our privacy fence. We love it. Everybody loves it. Everybody la laughs in the neighborhood of why we put it up, because I can't stand my neighbors. Nobody puts up 50 feet of a six-foot solid wood fence because you love your neighbors. Let's just put it that way. But I love it because now I can go out in my yard without being harassed and um, I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff done out there. Um, this is where we were, this is back on the 19th, we're already 100 plus, almost 200 plus members past that now. Um, but I just, I don't know what that page, it was just stuff going on that day. Um, and then these two, I was having a rough couple of days and so I'm really bad that when I'm having a really crappy day or days I don't get any journaling done because I just it just I'm not in the mood and then I don't want to rehash it I do not work out things well in a journal I will never be the person who writes my bitches into the <laughs> thing every once in a while I'll write it in in here but I, I don't I just normally I don't because I know that due to my anxiety it's most of the time all in my head and even if it started out as a real issue, it's something that I will explode into drama. And so it's just not worth going back over. So that's how this happened. <laughs> ah, this side is Lyra crayons. This side is ink tents. And I just really liked the colors and I had some fun with the hand lettering and stuff like that. So, hey, something made it on the page. Let's be happy. And then, as you can tell, it was a better weekend than it was a Thursday and Friday because now I'm back to happy colors and stuff on the page. And it was a photo couple of days, so I just got some... I got a new wagon! Oh, I love my new wagon! It's like a... Tw it holds 1,200 pounds. It's a little utility wagon. I have a huge yard. Like, almost three quarters of an acre. It's insane. Yes, I live in town, too. But we always have this stupid little dinky... Wheelbarrow. 20 years with a dinky wheelbarrow. Why are we so slow on this stuff? So the other day, Amazon had the utility wagon that I've been drooling over at Lowell's on sale. I shipped it to my door. It was awesome. It is so cool. And here I was pulling Joshua around in it because I had to pull something around. But I have tons of gravel to move. We are putting in 400 square feet of gardens in the next two years. I need it to move dirt. <laughs> but anyways, that was more than y'all need to know, right? Uh, my sunflowers are craziness. They are just bloom, bloom, bloom. I didn't plant any sunflowers. These all came up from seeds that fell last year, and they are nuts. Ah, oh, they are just crazy nuts. Um, the deer showed up and ate. Every, I had my peace rose was just about to bloom out. Had like 20 buds on it, ready to go. That night, the deer came and nipped everyone off. That's okay. As much as I love my peace rose, I like the deer more, but it really pissed me off. <laughs> Little turd. Ah! I have three quarters of an acre of lawn! Go eat the lawn, you little buggers. Joshua finished his algebra one for the year, his ninth grade algebra. He got an A. He is done. He was not supposed to finish till December. It is not December. The little turd is smart. What can I say? Again, adopted. <laughs> he is not, but... <laughs> I don't know how he got so smart. Um, 
And then I felt like coloring some flowers. So this is all done in ink tents and stickers. And I just, I don't know, I've been in a journaling mood. It, it's not, it looks like a whole lot of stuff was going on, doesn't it? With all this journaling, it does, it's not. It's just, I can ramble. Can you tell? And then um, I was practicing some hand letters. Sharon does our quote a day. Well, she does it Monday through Friday. Um, so we call it quote almost every, every day. And it is the highlight of my day when she posts these quotes. It, 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 she, I don't know, she gets in my brain and just knows what to post. And every single day, pretty much, she posts these posts. And my goal for September is to hand letter a lot of them because they are just perfect for adding to your journal. And so I took out my Dr. Martin's um, in, in, indie inks and my fountain, my dip pen, and I tried to do it. And it's terrible, but I had fun. And this was done in the Posco paint pen. Pos Posca. Posca? Post. Posca. Posca. Anyways, paint pen. I just thought it was pretty. But, um, yeah. I, I, yeah. And then here's this week, this last weekend and today. And I put a little flip in. I did Paula's journaling prompt. And that is how I am finishing up August. This is my September start page. What do you think? Like the decoration? Fancy, isn't it? Y'all are jealous, aren't you? You want it to look just like that in your book. <laughs> Anyways, that is my August flip. Thank you for suffering through with me. I hope y'all are doing wonderful. If you're thinking about getting into some kind of daily journaling like this, where you want to kind of art your day and journal your this day. This is about your day, whatever that day is. You stick it in here and you can stick it in here with words. You can stick it in here with stickers. The works you name it but we are having a fabulous time there is so much going on in the group we have prompts every single day they are not hard come join us you'll love it it's addicting but anyways pop over and join us at the Fobonichi journalers on Facebook group thank you so much for standing through my video with me what are we at like 18 19 minutes I apologize for the rambling nah I will talk to you in the next video which who knows when that'll be bye